Hi, welcome back to my channel. As you requested, I invited Matsukasa Tenma and the other cast of Inazuma 11 Go to help us in our today's lesson. You can always request an anime that you want me to invite as a guest for our succeeding lessons. Just visit the community tab of our channel and comment your suggestions to my current post there. In our previous lesson, we learned about the different types of context clues. If you failed to watch our video about it, I put its link in the description box below. By the way, I would like to ask a small favor to you. In order for me to sustain the growth of this channel, please do not skip the ads that will appear in my videos. Thank you for always supporting my hard work in making my video lessons. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below before we proceed to our lesson for today please like this video as your support to my channel you can also share this video to your friends share the happiness and most importantly subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that i will upload here in my channel for starters let's have a spelling i want you now to get a pen and paper I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Spelling number one. Spell the word constellation. A constellation is a group of stars that appears to form a pattern or a picture. Example, modern astronomers divide the sky into 88 constellations with defined boundaries. 2. Spell the word skateboard. A skateboard is a short narrow board with two small wheels fixed to the bottom of either end on which a person can ride in a standing or crouching position, propelling themselves by occasionally pushing one foot against the ground. It can be used for recreation or sport. Example. The dog likes to ride a skateboard. Oh, I want to have a dog like that. So cute. 3. Spell the word scientist. A scientist is a person who is studying or has expert knowledge in science. Example, Albert Einstein is the most famous and brightest scientist of all times. 4. Spell the word microscope. A microscope is an optical instrument used for viewing very small objects, such as minerals, samples of animals or plant cells typically magnified several hundred times example the scientist looks in the microscope to observe small things and then last number five spell the word telephone telephone permits two or more users to conduct a conversation when they are too far apart to be heard directly example alexander graham bell is best known for his invention of the telephone Now, let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking. Then, let's move on. Tenma kicks the soccer ball. Chirugi Kiyosuke passes the soccer ball to Matatagi Hayato and Hayato kicks the ball. Yukimura Yoga uses his special skill which alerts Tenma and Shindo Takuto. Oh no! Everyone was shocked after Nanobana Kinako blocked the ball with her special skill, yet it was her first time to unleash it. 
What we've read are all examples of a sentence. Sentence is a set of words that is complete in itself, typically containing a subject and a predicate. Subject is a person or thing that is being discussed, described, or dealt with in a sentence, while predicate is a part of a sentence or clause containing a verb and stating something about the subject. So again, in the sentence, Tenma kicks the soccer ball, Tenma is the subject in our sentence. Tenma is the topic of our sentence, while the remaining parts of the sentence is what we call as predicate, since it states something about our subject and it contains a verb. And the verb in our sentence is the word kicks. Now, listing down all the sentences we've read earlier. There are four types of sentences according to structure. Our first sentence is an example of a simple sentence. The second one is an example of a compound sentence. Third is an example of a complex sentence. And the fourth is an example of a compound complex sentence. A simple sentence contains a subject and a verb. It expresses a single complete thought that can stand on its own. Again, in the sentence, Tenma kicks the soccer ball, Tenma is the subject, and kicks is the verb. One subject, one verb, and it expresses a single complete thought. It can stand on its own. What do you mean by that? If you read a sentence and it can answer your questions, then you can say that it has a complete thought and it can stand alone. Let's read it again for the last time. Tenma kicks the soccer ball. Who hit the soccer ball? Tenma. What did Tenma kick? The soccer ball. What happened to the soccer ball? Tenma kick it. All our questions were answered by the sentence. Therefore, it has a complete thought and it can stand alone. Next, a compound sentence has two independent clauses. An independent clause is a part of a sentence that can stand alone because it contains a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought. Basically, a compound contains two simple sentences. These independent clauses are joined by a coordinating conjunction like for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. We'll discuss deeper about coordinating conjunctions in our succeeding lessons. As you read the sentence, Churugi Kiyosuke passes the soccer ball to Matatagi Hayato and Hayato kicks the ball, you've encountered the conjunction AND. It is our clue. Through the word AND, we can determine the two independent clauses joined in the sentence. The first independent clause is Churugi Kiyosuke passes the soccer ball to Matsutagi Hayato and the second independent clause is Hayato kicks the ball. Churugi Kiyosuke is our first subject and the word passes is our first verb. Hayato is our second subject and kicks is our second verb. Two subjects, two verbs. Who passed the soccer ball to Matsutagi Hayato? Churugi Kiyosuke. To whom did Churugi Kiyosuke pass the soccer ball? Matatagi Hayato. What did Churugi Kiyosuke pass to Matatagi Hayato? The soccer ball. All questions were answered so the first clause in the sentence is really an independent clause. Who kicked the ball? Hayato. What did Hayato kick? The ball. What happened with the ball? Hayato kicked it. All questions were answered so the second clause in the sentence is really an independent clause as well. Two subjects, two verbs, two independent clauses, and a coordinating conjunction equals compound sentence. On the other hand, a complex sentence is an independent clause joined by one or more dependent clauses. A dependent clause either lacks a subject or a verb, or has both a subject and a verb that does not express a complete thought. A complex sentence always has a subordinating conjunction, like as, because, since, after, although, and when, or relative pronouns like who, that, and which. We'll discuss deeper about subordinating conjunctions and relative pronouns in our succeeding videos. As you read the sentence, Yukimura Yoga uses his special skill which alerts Tenma and Shindo Takuto, you've encountered the relative pronoun which. It is our clue. Take note that sometimes a subordinating conjunction can also be your clue for complex sentence. Moving on, through the word which, we can determine the independent clause and the dependent clause joined in this sentence. Yukimura Yoga uses his special skill is our first clause and alert Tenma and Shindo Takuto is our second clause. Now, let's examine each clause to determine which one is the independent and which one is the dependent clause. Who used a special skill? Yukimura Yoga. What did Yukimura Yoga used? A special skill. 
all questions were answered. Therefore, the first clause is an independent clause. Who were alert? Tenma and Shindo Takuto. Why were they alert? Answer, we don't know. Since that clause cannot answer the question on its own, then therefore it is a dependent clause. We cannot know the answer to the question unless we read the independent clause in the sentence. Why were they alert? They were alert because Yukimura Yoga uses his special skill. A dependent clause cannot complete a thought on its own. That's why it needs to be joined with an independent clause. Again, independent clause plus dependent clause equals complex sentence. Finally, a compound complex sentence has two independent clauses and at least one dependent clause. In other words, it is a combination of a compound sentence and a complex sentence. Let's examine our last example. Everyone was shocked after Nanobana Kinako blocked the ball with her special skill, yet it was her first time to unleash it. As we read the sentence, we encounter the subordinating conjunction after and the coordinating conjunction yet. This served as our clue to identify the complex sentence and the compound sentence. Again, subordinating conjunction is our clue for complex sentence and coordinating conjunction serves as our clue for compound sentence. Therefore, to make it simple, the clauses near to the coordinating conjunction yet are the independent clauses since we consider it as a compound sentence. And those are Nanobana Kinako blocked the ball with her special skill and it was her first time to unleash it. And the remaining clause which is near the subordinating conjunction after is our dependent clause and that is everyone was shocked. Let's check who were shocked? Everyone. Why are they shocked? We don't know. We cannot answer the question unless we read the whole sentence. Therefore, it is really a dependent clause. So, two independent clauses plus at least one dependent clause equals compound complex sentence. Remember that the different types of sentences according to structure are 1. Simple sentence 2. Compound sentence 3. Complex sentence and 4. Compound complex sentence now, let's have an activity. I'm going to read the sentence, then say if it is simple, compound, complex, or compound complex. 1. Vampire Diaries is my favorite television show, but I also love True Blood. 2. If your answer is compound, then you are correct. The clue that you have in this sentence is the coordinating conjunction but Vampire Diaries is my favorite television show and I also love True Blood are both independent clauses. 2. The student wiped the whiteboard that was filthy with last week's notes. If your answer is complex, then you are correct. The clue that you have in this sentence is the relative pronoun that the student wiped the whiteboard is an independent clause. Was filthy with last week's notes is a dependent clause. 3. Professor Maple's intelligent students complete and turn in their homework. If your answer is simple, then you are correct. A simple sentence does not necessarily have to be short. It can have adjectives. In this case, there are two verbs, complete and turn in. However, the sentence expresses one complete thought and therefore it is a simple sentence. 4. While waiting for the paint to dry, Angela went to Home Depot and Martin organized the kitchen appliances. If your answer is compound complex, then you are correct. The coordinating conjunction and is your clue to identify the independent clauses. Angela went to Home Depot and Martin organized the kitchen appliances 
are our independent clauses. On the other hand, the subordinating conjunction while is your clue to identify the dependent clause, and that is waiting for the paint to dry. And then last, number five. Megan and Ron ate too much and felt sick. If your answer is simple, then you are correct. Although there are two subjects and two verbs, it is still a simple sentence because both verbs share the same subjects and express one complete thought. Now, for me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For your today's seat work, you are going to read the following sentences, then write S if the sentence is a simple sentence, CO if it is a compound sentence, CX if it is a complex sentence, or CC if it is a compound complex sentence. Again, you are going to write S, CO, CX, or CC. I'll give you two minutes to answer the seat work. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. Time's up. Let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set. I hope you've learned a lot in our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the different types of sentences according to structure. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. Speaking of shout out, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people.
Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!